And welcome back to Let's Play Dead Space 2, Episode 2. Ah, it's gonna be lucky. Dude, you okay? Oh, open heart? You! You! Thank God! Please, come help me! I'll try. I mean, I guess. I'll cut you out of there. Is that a tissue laser? A plasma cutter? Oh. Oh, oh. Fuck. What the fuck are you doing? Shit. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh. How the fuck did you manage to do that? Well, just so you know, you have unlimited ammunition in here. What the fuck? He didn't die. He was a little cunt. Thankfully, they were smart enough to not put vents in here. I'm gonna leave that in there. Oh. Sorry, man. Good thing we could have had a friend. And now, I'm curious. Does he now die? Oh, so much for knowing that. I already took all your limbs off. What if I hit him with you? Oh, he just... Chucked right off. I think he'll... Oh, whoa! This is quite the long neck you got there. Oh, thank you. Now we're in the blue, I guess. Maybe that's in the goo, but that's not my catchphrase. Was that always there? And yes, somehow we managed to finagle a flashlight into a plasma cutter. <coughs> I mean, I guess you just load it with plant. <gasps> there we go. Oh, run right in my face. Isaac, Stasis? it's been. You have to dismember the creatures to stop Yeah, them. I know. I know. I've had a lot of practice. <laughs> Try to stay in one piece. Thanks. This must be a sink? Well, I don't know. Is that a stasis pod? Hmm. It's a shame he didn't have any weaponry on him. Oh, he was a walled. Oh, in case you're wondering, no, you can't actually spell something. Intensive care waiting area. Oh, that's intense, all right. Okay, I have a question for everyone. What, including Dead Space Three and you know Dead Space Mobile and all those other games that I don't know. Um, what is your favorite Dead Space? Because to me, Dead Space Two was always my favorite. I've played all three. I haven't beaten three yet, actually. Oh, fuck you. I knew that was gonna happen, too. Oh, great. And now they all know to come here. Can I be like that person? You messed with the wrong person. Got him. Uh oh. Somebody is messing up over there. I'm healing. More stuff. Always good. I always. It's mostly the gunplay in this, and also the fact that it's not like. 
scary scary it's more psychological and I've always preferred that to boo like that I yeah I prefer Dead Space 2 uh oh oh cool TPS report 1138. Patient 3 has again shit the bed. Patient continues to draw what looks like a marker in anything she can, including her own feces. Her trembling is that the one we found? The point where she cannot feed, drink, or bathe herself. Her outlook is uncertain. Entry end. <gasps> yeah, I know, mate. Fine. No. Oh. I think he's dead. Or it might actually be cycling through other Earth Gov soldiers rigs who are dead. Something's afoot. <laughs> yes, please. The patients are becoming agitated and combative with us. As a result of the new regimens of memory racing drugs. No longer remember who we are from day to day and must be convinced to leave their cells each morning. We're so frightened that they require sedation to get to the interrogation chamber. Oli Gustasis was bitten three times by Fizzin 6, but now must be told why he has a broken jaw every morning. Any goodies around there? No. It's just a burning wreckage we saw before. <coughs> Should a constant supply. Around the clock to provide consistent shipments of food and medical supplies to Titan Station. Here we have to go, so we will not be going that way. Have expect like all the vents just explode the second I get near anything. I don't know, anyone else feel like the vents totally make sense actually? Because you need to have huge airflow because it's not like you can come from anywhere else. So, I don't know, it never seemed weird to me. Okay, the heart of the sprawler. Isaac, Isaac, oh, right way. Way. wait, it's you. Damn it! Slide, slide, Isaac, uh, slide, Nolan. No. Dana, your fucking route didn't work. There's a security lockdown. I told you to hurry. How'd you miss it? Look, I don't need your help. Are you sure about that? Talk now. Dana. Okay, you're right. I do need your help. No, we don't. Talk to me. You're fine. Look, Isaac, we don't have to be friends. But like it or not, we're stuck together. Tideman's your enemy, not me. Is he now? All right. I found you a new route. Fine. So where the hell am I? How did another Necromorph outbreak get started? I've been asked that, that since the last version. As for the outbreak. <laughs> 
shit! Tymon's jamming my signal! Tymon, you wanna talk to me? Rather well. Shit, a power node. Yes, yeah, so power nodes are back in this game. Of course, administration, no visitors, please. You just from EarthGov considered delusional. <coughs> oh shit, it's us. Um, from EarthGov considered delusional, dangerous, do not approach, report location immediately. Read. Nice roses. Anxiety spike. Attention reception desk. Please refer all registrants complaining of anxiety and are physical psychological problems to the other hospitals in the area. We're booked and running low on mood elevating medications. The recent CEC layoffs and increased tensions between unitologists and EarthGov. I thought there were enough of spiking cases. In this new way is something entirely different. Dr. Brian Alpers, Department of Psychology. Boy. Toxicology. It's Officer Lee Kenyon. Hmm. Psychology. She's like that as an effect. Wow. Hmm. You don't think that they would put. Yes, good. That they would put. Enemies around a sa safe room. Okay, you guys ready to see the most bullshit enemy in this game? And honestly, in probably the one of, if not the most BS enemies in the series. Let's get away from that. So poor, well, he Heisenberg. Maintenance report 384003. Say suspect 0050, no, 560000, my apologies. 567844, replace Takian unit, degust emitter array. Um, oh god, Gaussian surfaces. Calibrated Heisenberg forks, induction coils still not firing in sequence. Testing for shattered matrix. Co called in to dispatch to cancel next employment. This may take all day. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. Stasis is a gameplay thing. Oh. Well, we're bad people apparently. Should you really leave that on? Jesus. Heck, slowly rotate the mouse to find blue weak points and press that. Uh oh. Okay, you hit him now. Good, we got him. Yes, and your stasis actually recharged in this game, which is awesome. So stasis and kinesis, especially kinesis, have been upgraded to actually being amazingly useful. And you want to know why this guy is evil and awful? He is actually a one hut, one hot yes. One hit kill. No matter what, doesn't matter. He will instantly kill you. Hmm. Considering I don't use stasis all that much. Well. I do have to ask though why the stasis unit was inside of this. Inside of that. Instead of being over there. that and it should and it did it's closing too slow for me again stasis doesn't make much sense does it to be fair do we I have way too much health packs I need to actually sell them off oh and despite what you might hope you cannot save these people because we got our new enemy uh, I don't actually remember what they're called like vomiters though. 
Pukers, that's what they're called. Okay, that went off way faster than it should have. Well, it seems non necromorphs actually stay frozen for a longer amount of time. Sorry, mate. Ugh. That's just a flesh wound. Surely you should be alive. Sorry, madam. And another power node. You'll notice that they're really kind in this game. Compared to the last one. To be fair, you only ever saw heart while well, you did see no mode at beginning from the very original version of this. Maintain sterile environment pr procedures. Expect an enemy. Well, to be fair, they never had any enemies in elevators except, you know, soup. Or damn obvious elevators like that huge one. Oh no. What the fuck? Twinkle twinkle little star. Nico. Um everything okay? Yeah, apparently not. Oh, that was my stasis recharging. That is stupidly loud. Counseling services. Coping with life off world. Do you miss the atmosphere? Reason being diagnosed with a serious illness. We're here to provide you with top tier counseling and diagnosis. Depression, terrestrial longing, terminal illness. Oh god. Since flowers, 50% off. Because apparently we can't just grow normal flowers in space. Secrecy. Chairman Donovan, this is Dr. Brooks. I've said this many times and I'll say it again. I don't like the secrecy behind the new labs. They've yeah, they've installed in the psych wing. It's been three years and we don't have the faintest clue what's going on. Such secrecy is no place in an open and free society. The network is so isolated that we can't even tell if they have one. Let alone sift through it to see if anything unethical is taking place right under our noses. If we don't get some traction on this soon, I'm going to go to Tyve and insist on formal review of these policies. Brooks out. Well, they probably should have done something about it sooner. Wow, a third mode? I don't want to die. Well, sucks to be you. Sucks to be us all. We're all going to die sooner or later. And that probably attracted everyone. Condor room. Okay, so these rooms are a thing that we will see in Dead Space 2 Xbox 360 version. I think because, um, for whatever reason... I think what happened is Steam and EA just had a fight with each other, and it ended up um, being that there is no DLC for this game correctly. Like, there was DLC, but it was given to everyone. Oh, cool. That's actually, like, normal gravity. Anyways, um... But yeah, because of that, <coughs> we don't have access to the two story DLCs, so one explains that guy that we saw at the very beginning. And the other is something totally different. But I think connects to either a movie, or a book, or something else, or another game from this. But anyways, we're gonna keep on going. But yeah, that, um, Franco guy, he's actually in one of the DLCs. Sadly, we'll never know. Caution, oxygen new in use, no smoke or open fire. Wait, why is there some... Okay, I cannot turn down that much plasma energy. Well, the gas is in use. Wait. No. That can't be good. Especially considering it's near a bunch of oxygen tanks. Oh, okay, yep. Yeah, I know. Pull out your gun, mate. For whatever reason, we have to shoot this. Apparently, that's necessary. Tunnel breach rectified. 
Thank you. So, for, yeah, for whatever reason, it doesn't do that automatically, which makes no sense. Oh, at least the fire extinguisher existed. Come on, work. Oh. I was actually hoping that would explode into, you know, fire retardant. There it is. Oh, cool. Killed by your own arm. Well, that ripped right through him. Hey, you see a dead body? You can, um, just... Another power note? Jesus. There she is. So, we'll explore this next time. First, I want to save. Never know what might happen. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, and I'm so happy that she works now, you know what to do. See ya.